It's been said that the 501st got the best of the war. We also got the worst. Aunt Felucia, the Seps dug their metal heels into the muck of that alien hellhole and dared the Republic to come in after them. So we did. Only to be met with the month after month of flesh-eating diseases, shrieking nocturnal predators, and other sights that haunt me to this day. Cut off and for all we knew abandoned by our superiors, our only hope was Ayla Sekuda, our Jedi commander. Without her iron will, none of us would have come out of that mess with our sanity or our lives. When her death came, I hope it was quick. She earned that much. Our Ford unit is under attack by some kind of creatures. Get up there and give them some support. What is that thing? Where are they? Oh no, they're all dead! This ATTE is out of commission. Movement to the north! Here they come. Wipe out these creatures before they rip our unit apart. units have been detected moving in this direction. Defend the ATTE until Jedi Master Secuda arrives. Sakuda has landed. A Republic gunship crashed in the brush near here. Acquire its power cell and bring it back to reactivate the ATTE. This is Sakura. How can I help? has 
made us strong. Nice work. The ATTE has been reactivated. The CIS offensive is being mounted from the fungal tree to the south. Advance on their base of operations there and take out their primary defense turrets. Roger that. Next time, the We've got a sniper! Save this for the has been severely crippled. We have them on the run. When the 501st was finally rotated out of Felucia, Ayla Sakura made a point of seeing us off personally, calling us the bravest soldiers she had ever seen. It's a good thing we were wearing helmets. Of course, none of us could bear to look her in the eye.